All right, so welcome to week four. Um, once you finish this week, we'll have gone through half the class, and um, now you will only have half left, you know. <laughs> We're almost there. We're almost halfway through. So week four is about manipulating polynomials using the properties of exponents, and so um, I'll go into detail what that is. So first, we're going to start with what you're covering this week, what tasks you have to complete, and go into details on your discussion, your assignment, and your quiz, and then the suggested schedule. So for this week, you only need to read three sections. So you have section 5.1, multiplying and dividing expressions with common bases. And then we're skipping to 5.5 and 5.6, addition and subtraction of polynomials and multiplication of polynomials and special products. The sections we're skipping you will learn in college algebra. Um, we're just going to be focusing on what you need to do so that you can add, subtract, and multiply polynomials. So that's what we're going to be focusing on this week. So the big ideas are the rules of exponential expressions, an introduction to polynomials, addition and subtraction of polynomials, and then multiplication of polynomials. So those are the big things we're going to be focusing on this week. So you had an exam last week, so this week we're back to a quiz. So there's the week four discussion, the week four ungraded practice assignment, the week four assignment, and the week four quiz. So let's take a look at the discussion. So your discussion this week is actually a reflection on how the exam went for week three. So I want you to share how you studied for the exam and whether your studying was effective. Uh, you can determine whether it's effective based off of your score if you think that, you know, um, the way you studied worked. I also want you to think about what you could have done better to study. How could you have changed your study plans, your habits, what you did so that you could have done better on the exam? Um, or even maybe you studied too much or you didn't study well and, you know, how, what can you do to improve? And then do you have any questions or need any help with time management or study skills? Are there things, are, do you need tips for studying? And, you know, do you think, oh man, I really, you know, I don't really know how to study, you know, what can you do to help? So um, you're just reflecting on the exam. When you reply to your classmates, I want you to provide tips. You know, read what they say, and if they say they struggled on time management, give them some tips. You know, share with them what you did that worked for you. So you're going to share your study strategies and reflect on how it went and whether it worked um, so that this way, when you take your next exam, which will be in week six, you'll have some better strategies going forward. So you'll have some ideas from that people have shared with you that you can try for the next exam. So I do want to reiterate that your replies need to be substan substantive. So this means that they actually have to do with the discussion post you're replying to. They need to show that you've read the post and you have something to say. Um, so you don't want to just say good job because that is not proof that you've actually read the post that you're replying to. So you need to talk about something in the post that the other person said and reply to that specifically. Maybe you're asking them a question or um, in regards to this week, you can say, okay, I see that you said that you studied for four hours in, in one sitting. I think maybe if you break it up, studying maybe an hour at a time and taking breaks, that could be more effective. So I'm taking what somebody else said repeating what they said to show that I've re read it and then adding information or providing some advice or maybe you can ask a question but you do want to have at least a few sentences and they need to show that you've actually read what the other person is saying or you're not just doing a reply um, that you know just because you need to get your replies in. So do take care to make sure that your replies actually can continue the conversation and are meaningful. So taking a look at the assignments for this week. So for your ungraded practice assignment, um, there are some problem recognition exercises, which you can find on page 364. 
And then not all of the problems, but some of the problems from the chapter five test. Because we are not covering everything in chapter five, you don't want to do the entire chapter five test. So I've picked out the problems that relate to what we have done in chapter five. For your actual assignment, again, you have two graded problems. That's gonna be what you're gonna have for every assignment. So make sure you're showing all work that um, if, if you do get a low grade, you can res resubmit your work. There is a penalty, but that's um, better than having a low grade. And if you have any questions on your feedback for the assignments after reviewing them, let me know and then I can read them and see if I need to get in contact with the grader for more details. So let's talk about the quiz. So this particular quiz is 20 questions and it's untimed. So that means you can start it as you work through the material and then work on it a little bit at a time based off of what you know and what you've looked at. There are only three short answer questions for this particular quiz. Make sure that you're showing all of your work and using the function editor. And then there are 17 multiple choice questions. So it's gonna be a nice break from the exam that you had last week. The topics that are covered on this quiz are um, some review, like solving linear equations and identifying the type of equation, whether it is a conditional, a contradiction, or an identity. But there is also going to be covered mostly what we're learning this week. So you're learning about exponential expressions. So you're going to have questions that are asking about the definition of it and how to rewrite them to that gauges your understanding. You will have to evaluate these exponential expressions. So that means you're plugging in numbers and then following the order of operations. You'll have to simplify. So that's following the rules of exponents. There are questions about polynomials, making sure you understand the terminology of a polynomial. And um, then there are questions on adding, subtracting, and multiplying polynomials. So here's the suggested schedule for the week. So um, I've planned it out so that you can do your readings Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And then I've linked the uh, videos that go with each section as well as the readings that go with each section. And then I have picked out some practice problems for you if you need to do some extra practice. So for 5.1, there's about 10 to 11 questions there. Um, there's about, uh, let's see, yeah, about maybe 12 or 13 questions for 5.2, and then about 15 or so for um, 5.3. So you're only doing a few a day, but that helps you practice. And then that leaves you with the rest of the week, like Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, you can um, do your assignment, take the quiz, and you notice that there's a lot of free time here. So you can use that to that time to redo any assignments that you got low grades on, or if you uh, have missing work, you can use this week to try to catch up on that missing work so that you're all set for going for the rest of the class for the second half of the class. Um, you do want to keep in mind your weighted grade is going to keep increasing as we go through the class. And then your graded submission is your average. That is your grade based off of what we have turned in so far. So if you have missing work, your graded submission grade may not be accurate because it's not counting missing work. It's only counting what you've turned in. So are there any questions about what you need to do for this week or maybe how about things that happened last week? Um, any questions on the content? Anything at all? I will take that as a no. I'm not hearing anything. Um, your, the next live session that we're going to have, let me look at my calendar. I made sure I bring it up this time. Monday at 6 p.m. So that's November 4th at 6 p.m. I'm going to go over multiplying special products. So I already have videos in the classroom on the rules of exponents and adding and subtracting polynomials and multiplying polynomials, but I don't have any videos on special products, which are like shortcuts for these multiplying polynomial things. 
So um, that's what I'm going to be doing the session for uh, the live session for this week. So that's 6 p.m. Monday. And if you're signed up for Remind, I will, of course, send out reminders for that um, so you can make sure you can attend. So thank you guys for joining. Um, if, you got, if you do think of questions, of course, you're welcome to email me. Um, or you can even give me a call. I do answer my phone. So, um, or, or you can message me on Remind. I'm usually pretty quick to reply there. So I hope you guys have a great Wednesday. Um, if you are in California, stay safe with the fires. I heard there's a tropical storm down south, so if you're in that area, stay safe. Um, we're getting snow here in the middle of the, the country in Kansas City, so wherever you are, <laughs> make sure you're staying safe because there's a lot of weather things going on right now. So, All right, so I'm going to pop off, and um, hopefully I'll see you guys on Monday night. And, of course, you know I'll be interacting with you guys in the discussion. and all that good stuff. So you guys have a great night. Thank you. You're welcome.